Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody is happy and healthy. So you may recall that in December I released a video about uh, various biological aging clocks and I think in that video I hinted that there was a relationship between biological age and disease and mortality but didn't provide you with a lot of data. Well, since then a very interesting study has come out. It was actually just published in September in 2023 on a pre-publication site and I will uh, give you a link below if you want to take a look at it. But one of the very cool things that it does is that it shows very clearly in a very graphical manner the relationship between biological aging and disease and mortality. And that's what I wanted to share with you. And clearly, as you would guess, the result of this study is that being healthier and having a lower biological age, and certainly having a lower biological age than your chronological age, is good from a disease risk perspective. What is really stunning, though, is the extent to which the, the data shows how big the differences are. And so what this study is about is that we have a group of researchers who collected data from the UK Biobank and the Chinese data bank, Biobank, 45,000 people in the UK, 2,000 people in China. And they created a new biological aging clock, in this case based on blood proteomics, so circulating plasma proteins. If it's gobbledygook to you, don't worry about it. Uh, plasma proteins related to health and disease and age, we know that. And so in this specific case, they developed those, this aging clock, they validated it, and then they looked into the biobank and, and compared sort of the prevalence and the incidence of disease relative to the predicted age by the biological aging clock. So it's all good science, and these are all good scientists. And the results as you can see in the graphics, are truly stunning. If you compare the top 10, the bottom 10, and the medium 10 percent of the people in this biobank, uh, in terms of their the risk of disease and therefore the likelihood of uh, getting those diseases. And it really doesn't matter what you look at, if it's overall mortality, or if you look at type 2 diabetes, or stroke, or liver disease or dementia, rheumatoid arthritis, <laughs> rheumatoid arthritis, molecular degeneration, osteoporosis. I mean, you can, you can just look at the graph here and even more so if you decide to follow the link and read the whole study. It's just really stunning the, the difference that it makes whether you're in the top or bottom 10% in terms of your biological age, clearly, relative to your chronological age. And so, hopefully, that gives you uh, more than a hint, actually some pretty good information about the benefits of trying to stay as healthy as we can. I know that many of us try, it's not always easy, but one of the things that I think this data makes very, very clear is the extent to which making an effort actually pays off in terms of uh, the quality of life, quite frankly, especially as you get older. So hopefully you find this useful, although maybe not necessarily enjoyable. It's never too late. So, uh, you know, I hope you're well. I hope you take this information on board and may your biological age be as low as possible. And with that, be well, my friends. Take good care. Bye-bye.